all right so i'm going to change this on my debug data let's say i'm going to copy this line control c control v and copy this line and paste in here i'm going to create a new function to catch the update within my database on update uh, wait a minute i haven't copied my value on value updated or all right on value updated not the on updated on value updated all right now this function will execute if i change this value not i create this one only if i change this value then this function will work all right so i'm going to do something like this now um when the value in this key is changed first i am going to capture that value using this function all right so original will be let's say abc so when this function is execute the original will be abc then i am going to concat some value within the uh, cloud function let's say hello um plus abc all right now uh i can print new value all right i'm going to save this one and i'm going to upload my function again all right i got a few errors there should be no space after this this line number 17 and 42 but never used 43 abc is not defined all right let's see uh first i should remove this um actually i haven't make any statement like this so i'm going to delete that then new value new value uh, abc no not the abc or chill all right all right let's deploy this again all right uh it has created mm, but the problem is now actually i have override this uh, method name so i can't do that i'm going to just change this to hello node is created all right let's deploy this again all right now all the three functions are deployed successfully uh, let's go to our um, function list and let's see if all right so as you can see i have now two separate functions hello node is created hello node it's changed all right now i am going to do uh, i'm going to change this value first i'm going to open my logger right here right now i'm going to change the value let's say i am changing value all right here i change the value and let's see in the uh log you have to refresh this uh let's refresh okay i can't see any uh logs uh, let me close this and 
let's try this again i am changing value one two three and let's go to uh hello node is change function and let's open our logs from here all right in this log uh, as you can see i have got an error uh, so if you got an if you got a runtime error within the uh, function you can also see those errors in this log so you can see type error even dot data dot well is not a function so it says that in this function this is not a function this uh, thing is not a function in this it worked actually but in this it doesn't work so i should come up with a solution to this all right so for now i'm going to comment this one here and let's uh, check whether this uh, function is working or not if i update the value let's say uh, uh, value is updated all right i'm gonna print this log so if i could successfully change this value I should get this output all right so I'm gonna save this um, new function and let's deploy all right uh, the functions are deployed now let's see uh, if this is working um, I'm gonna refresh this one time All right, uh, it says uh, All right, now let's change the value. I'm going to change this to value is changed All right, now let's go to the log and let's refresh this Now the time is uh, 2.22 and as you can see it has printed value is updated so now we know that this function is working properly all right that is why this value is printed in the log the time is 2.22 uh, 46 seconds I'm gonna change this one more time so you can clarify this let's say abc i'm gonna refresh all right it has printed again value is updated so now we know this function is working now what i want to do is if this function is updated I want to create a new value in the database so how could how we can do that um, first I have to create a new um, variable to catch my database all right so to access database I have to create a new uh, constant let's copy this and I'm gonna paste this this time I'm going to access the real-time database directly not through the firebase function so for that I'm going to use firebase admin slash database and I'm going to change the value to get database alright so this is the this is how you can make a reference to your database so you can access this access database using this reference I'm gonna say in here get database dot reference and I'm gonna create a new user in my uh, firebase let's say users user2 let's see a 
users user2 and uh, I would say the name is uh, let's say Mike all right this is one and again I'm gonna say age is 25 so what I have done in this uh, function uh, function when I change the value in here it will trigger this function and when this function is triggering uh, this user will be created in the database all right so let's see if this is working I'm gonna save this I'm gonna deploy <clears throat> all right uh, it is deployed let's see if this is working now my function is in the server now when I change this value this function will execute and when this function is executing uh, a new user will create in the database let's see if this is working I'm gonna change one two three all right so as you can see the function triggered and a new user is created in the uh, database so now I think uh, you get the idea how this function is worked uh, so you can do the same thing with on value written on value created on value updated and on value deleted you can all use all these function like uh, this uh, steps following these steps and there is uh, a, a github uh, project to this specific uh, cloud function uh, examples all right this is the one function examples function samples and in here this is the first chain and this is the second chain uh, so in this have some couple of examples you can dig them and uh, get some idea on how to work in firebase uh, database and other frameworks with cloud functions all right so you can actually check these things so this is the basically what you can do with trigger type functions so this is it for the for this video tutorial I will be back with another tutorial and I will show you how to do the scheduled function with Google Firebase Cloud function version 2 thank you